Hello and welcome to this short webinar on specifying concrete for lower embodied carbon. Um, just a reminder about what concrete is. Um, concrete's a mix of materials um, with water in order uh, that's, that's, that's um, uh, put together in order to make a, a cohesive um, building material, um, which is actually the second most used material in the, in, in the world after water. So it's, it's super important, super useful, um, extremely flexible in its use, actually quite flexible in what it's made of, um, uh, and, uh, and, and, is, and is an important part of our, our, um, our civilization. Um, so concrete, it's made up of cement, cementitious material, that is, uh, water, a little bit of air, um, you don't get embodied, embodied carbon for air, um, uh, fine aggregate and coarse aggregate, so the fine aggregate would be the sand. Um, and you can see that a lot of the concrete is made up of aggregate, so it's, it's mostly aggregate with a little bit of cement and some water. Um, and when you're looking at the embodied carbon uh, of concrete, uh, you need to think about what's got, what that mix is. Um, so uh, this comes from our book, um, Specifying Sustainable Concrete, which is uh, freely downloadable from our uh, website at www.concretecentre.com. Um, and you can see that the, we've got the embodied carbon kilograms per tonne of various um, uh, elements within the concrete mix. So it's Portland cement, uh, so that's the, um, uh, or SEM1, um, that's got the highest number at 860. Um, but secondary cementitious materials, um, the range of secondary cementitious materials or additions or concrete uh, cement replacements, um, uh, these are most, well, GGBS, ground granulated glass feather slag, and fly ash are, are byproducts of other industries. Uh, limestone is, is just quarried and then ground, um, but ground down. Um, they have much lower embodied um, uh, carbon numbers. So about 80 for GGBS, very small for fly ash, and limestone is about eight. So you can see that, that it's, it's significantly less uh, than the Portland cement at um, 860. And these cementitious materials will help you reduce the embodied carbon of your concrete, because we're looking at concrete here, not just cement. Uh, the aggregate is, uh, is it, that's a 70, sort of 70 percent of the concrete is aggregate at 2.6 kilograms per ton. So that's 0 0.0026 um, kilograms per kilogram. Very, very small um, uh, body carbon for aggregate. The reinforcement is, is, is 412, although there's, um, depends on where you get the reinforcement from. This is UK sourced. Um, UK um, made um, uh, reinforcement uh, that is done under the bar under the um, bar, which is the trade association for the reinforcement people. Um, their eco reinforcement at, at 412 uh, kilograms per ton. Um, and if you then start looking at concretes, um, so that it depends on what sort of thing you're looking for. Um, uh, the concrete to do. Uh, you need to make sure that you're, you're, you're using the right sort of concrete for the right sort of area. Um, the, the lower um, uh, lower strength concretes will have tend to have less cement in them, uh, so that that um, that cementitious content is down. So that the embodied carbon, which is mostly in the cement, um, uh, will also come down. So you can see that for a Gen One, uh, which would be for um, mass footings, um, a SEM1 concrete uh, would be about 165 uh, kilograms per cubic meter, um, a kilogram CO2 per cubic meter, and with 50% GGBS, you're at 95. Whereas if you have a higher strength concrete of, a, of say, a designated RC4050, so that's a um, cube strength of 50. Um, the similar ones would be 405 for the SEM1 and 255 for the 50% GGBS. And within that, there is some reinforcement included. Um, 
We also looked at it um, in terms of the different types of cements that you can use within concretes. Um, so these are broad designations of the cement types. Um, uh, and you've got, I've done both embodied carbon in, in, in the per cubic meter and embodied carbon per ton. Uh, so you can actually see that concrete is a low embodied carbon material. You know, these, these numbers are kilograms per ton, not kilograms per kilogram, um, which would be a thousand less. Um, so same one is obviously the highest one, but you can have um, you know, the, 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 the SEM 3B type concretes. Um, you're looking at sort of you know, very low numbers of sort of you know, 35 to 50 to 60. Now, this is, by the way, this is assuming that you've got on 320 kilograms of, of, of cement uh, per cubic meter of concrete. Um, that's sort of a fairly, you know, a, a C3240 concrete would have that sort of thing. Uh, there is no reinforcement in, included in these numbers. So, so the way to reduce your embodied carbon in concrete is normally the first thing to think about is to, uh, is to look at the cement you're using. But there are other things to do as well. Um, uh, make sure you're using the right concrete for the for, 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 your, for the job. Uh, don't over-specify the strength because the higher the strength, the more cement you need. But you need to make sure that you're, in, you've got the right, um, you're looking at the right exposure class and therefore you give yourself durability. Because what you're looking for is durability. Um, as it might not help the embodied carbon, but in the, in the very short term, but overall, you're looking at uh, you're looking for concrete to be long-lasting, and that's what you expect from concrete. A picture here: the uh, the um, Pantheon in um, uh, Rome, uh, which is uh, 1900 years old, uh, and is a concrete building. Um, so uh, that's durability for you. So don't have uh, don't have a specify the strength. The, the, you know, get the strength you need. Um, remembering that some, in some cases, the lower body carbon is using a high strength concrete, but less of it. Um, use additions, so that's the cement replacements, secondary cement addition materials, whatever you like to call them, but use those uh, GGBS fly ash um, uh, type uh, cements. Um, use admixtures, um, so allow the use of admixtures. Um, a simple one is a water reducing admixture, uh, which will bring down the amount of cement you need uh, because uh, the strength is governed by the water cement ratio. So if you have small amounts of water, uh, you can have less, less uh, cement for the same strength. So use admixtures. Um, don't over specify the recycled content of your aggregates because aggregates um, uh, recycled aggregates will tend to give you a higher embodied carbon. Not much, but a little bit. Don't over specify um, uh, small aggregate sizes. So 20 millimeters is the standard. If you go for less than that, you will find that you will need uh, more cement um, in your concrete mix. Um, and you can see that within the tables within 8500, the, um, the specification code. Um, Remember to specify responsibly sourced and um, uh, yes, responsibly sourced reinforcement. So the eco reinforcement from bar or the cares um, sustainably sourced um, reinforcement um, uh, is also it can be used, um, and that that those ones will have that that the reinforcement is made using the electric arc furnace method. Um, it's made using um, uh, 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 scrap steel um, uh, and has a much lower body carbon than um, uh, reinforced made from virgin steel. And then finally, uh, be efficient in the use of materials. So don't you know, think about how your you know, the overall thing is you're, you're, you're trying to keep the amount of material down as well as looking just at the embodied carbon per cubic meter. Uh, of concrete. So be efficient. That the less material you use, um, the less your body carbon. So be efficient. Um, and just to say that we've got in our, um, I talked about the Specifying Sustainable Concrete book, 
um, available for download. It's free. Please do um, um, uh, look at it. Uh, these are the things that it's got in it. Uh, so it's got guidance and um, assessment tools. It talks about aggregates, recycled aggregates, you know, um, secondary aggregates. It talks about cements and admixtures, uh, water and reinforcement. So have a look at that. It's very useful. Um, we keep that updated so that this, this latest version came out in February uh, uh, 2020. Um, uh, and we keep it updated to make sure that the latest numbers are there. Um, and just to let you know that the concrete industry has been uh, measuring the embodied carbon and various other things, um, all those sort of things um, within um, the sector uh, since uh, 20, 2008. And we have been we have been reporting on it. And you can download uh, our reports from. Um, from the, how we're getting on um, against targets that we set ourselves. So I, I hope you found this uh, useful um, uh, as a um, as a short webinar. Do have a look at the specifying sustainable concrete, um, and thank you for listening. Goodbye.